Peggy 12. Hi everyone, my name's Serkan Hassan and I'm the lead mission designer at Ivory Tower, working on the crew. Today I'm going to introduce you to the features you'll be able to get your hands on during our closed beta. Thanks for joining us. Before we begin, remember that this closed beta does not represent the final game, and many modifications may be applied before we release. Now as most of you already know, the crew is a driving game set in an open world with MMO RPG components. It's an MMO, meaning you'll be playing online with friends and strangers on a single server. And as an RPG, it means you'll be earning XP, leveling up, and tuning your cars into each of five unique specs, all fully customizable. Finally, an open world game that lets you drive anywhere in the USA. Whether it's on asphalt roads, dirt tracks or wide open terrain without a loading screen in sight. As you can see, we've divided the country into five regions, each with their unique environments, moods and driving experiences. Now in this closed beta, you'll have access to all of the activities in the Midwest and key locations on the East Coast. However, the entire country is also available for you to explore. Have fun. Your adventure will begin in the Midwest, Detroit to be exact, in the heart of Motor City. After a short prologue, you'll have access to a wide range of activities. Missions are the narrative glue of the game, taking you across a wide range of locations and introducing you to a range of characters and gameplay elements. All of them can be played solo or in co-op. Skill challenges are short gameplay sessions where you can really put those skills to the test. There are a wide variety of skill challenges and we expect you'll be replaying them, trying to achieve that perfect run in a synchronous competition through our online leaderboards. PvP missions are where you can compete with up to seven other players. You'll be taking part in specific races all across the country, duking it out to find out who truly is the best driver. Landmarks are located all across the country and allow you to take a time out, appreciate the diverse landscape, and who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two about the United States. Now, as in any RPG, all of these activities will reward you with XP, cash, and car parts for participating. Now, in addition to the activities on offer, there are several key locations you'll want to visit every once in a while. Car dealers are where you'll be able to buy new vehicles. You'll find a different one in each region with its own unique offering of cars. Now buying a car is one thing, but tuning that car will improve your chances of victory. Car tuners are where you turn your factory spec ride into a custom tuned monster. You'll find a different one in each region, each specializing in one of the five car specs in the game. Now in the closed beta, you'll have access to two locations, one in Detroit, the other in New York, allowing you to tune your own street and dirt spec cars. Finally, you'll want to visit your HQ. This is the place where you'll be able to install the car parts you've earned and dive into the deep customization of your vehicles. Now, where a classic RPG would reward you with a new sword or new braces, in the crew, you'll be rewarded with a new engine, tires or suspension system to equip on your car. Each of these will affect your car's performance or look, and each vehicle can be customized in up to 20 different areas, 11 of which affect performance, while the remaining nine are purely cosmetic. This allows you to truly make each car your very own. It's not just cars that you can customize. As you level up, you'll earn perk points, which you can use to unlock and upgrade a variety of perks. Perks have effects ranging from enhancing your car's performance to boosting the amount of cash and XP you earn, 
or granting brand new abilities that make your game experience more convenient and more comfortable. Actually, let's head to your car collection now. Each car can be tuned in a number of different ways. These are called specs, one of the unique elements of the crew. In the closed beta, you'll have access to two specs, street and dirt. The street spec will be introduced to you in the Midwest. It's the closest type of vehicle to your everyday car and is at its best when you're driving in cities, dodging traffic and competing in illegal street races. The dirt spec is your first off-road spec, unlocked on the East Coast once you've reached the car tuner in New York. You'll also get a glimpse of other specs and some of the missions you'll be able to play. Once you leave your HQ, you're free to drive wherever you want. You can drive to the next mission or the closest challenge, and of course you can free roam or use a fast travel function to visit any place that you've already been to in the blink of an eye. The last key component of the crew are its online features. As we've said earlier, we've made the game entirely online, so players can enjoy all the adventures of driving with whoever they want at any time. Before you join your friends and other players online, we ask that you complete our short prologue. The goal of this prelude is to introduce you to the crew while the game completes its installation. Once it's done, the crew's world is yours. You'll also be able to see your friends on the world map at any time if they're part of your Uplay friend list. This way, you can truly enjoy the experience of an MMO with new encounters and all the surprises to expect from it your friends always accessible to play. Now this wraps up the presentation of our closed beta for the crew. From everyone at Ivory Tower and all the Ubisoft studios working on the game, we hope you have a great time playing and we'll see you soon on the road. Thank you.